Hi there, this is also this is a channel Simal Chain Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. Guys, today continue working on that um, Union Pacific Dash 9. And I'll show you what I did. Ditch lights install and the headlights install as well. But uh, that was a couple of days ago. But when I try my headlights, I really don't like it. It's probably first time after who? Um, maybe 20 installations I see I just not happy with how the LED is glowing okay but um, oh well I knock those LEDs down and those are rear lights yeah, security system are always like to talk to me <laughs> something not happy with it okay here we go now today just put it away. I'm going to work on uh, on the chassis. Chassis, uh, okay. If you can hear in the back, this is I'm testing new ASU Lux Sound uh, Atlas uh, locomotive, and I'll tr try to do a video about it. Hopefully today too. Okay. Um, so what I did, I already test um, the directions. This guy will travel and actually this is for it because the chassis almost identical that's how you figure out by fuel tank uh, which way is cup going but if you're not familiar with that engine better just mark it before you before you disassembling it dismantling it disassembling I should say okay I like really really like those stiff wires here okay here we go that's my decoder original decoder I got the engine with this decoder ASU Lux Sound version 3.5. Okay, um, it was plug and play to the board here uh, to compensate uh, for the condensed bulb 1.5 bulb 1.5 volt bulbs. Okay, so this plug is going. I'll cut it. I'll mount the decoder around here. See that tape? It's called Captain Tape, and when I will do more installation detail, I'll um, show you again. It's very good tape. It's actually a very professional grade again. Uh, kind of cost, but uh, it's it's worth every single dollar. So what I like about those um, stiffy kind of stiff wires, um, and what I did. Because I don't trust <laughs> a lot, so what I did, I saw resolder. I saw some paste in in soldering points, and I thought like, yeah, let's use my caster just in case. And I'm usually doing it always, so I just resolder, re and they 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 look very good right now. So I'm going to use that. Um, it's not stiff as as this those wires so I make extension here and actually one of extension will be connecting to uh, pick wire pick up wire okay the color will be here again I'll mount it and um, that's what's the plan to do and that's the wire I'm going to use okay they're selling them as well um, for all guys questions please call us or email us uh, dcctrain.com uh, phone number 513-388-9000 with both Rob and I on Saturdays 10 to 6 so it's the best time probably if you have chance to call like afternoon like after 3 that will probably be the best because in the morning we like busy <laughs> we're only one store in town okay well, let's uh, keep rock and roll. Here we go. Next step. So I'm going to use my um, special tool, and it's a good one. It's um, uh, ideal, I guess. Industries ink made in USA. I bought it. Um, 2001 so it's 12 years old this is probably turns to gold gold <laughs> like they can make 
of gold. I'm not kidding how many installations I did. I stopped counting around 3000 in 2010, something like this. And now I, I'm just installing. <laughs> so here I go. Strip that guy real quick. Okay. Twist it. Okay. My caster. Caster. ESD. Safe. Um, dispenser. Important because it's not gonna. It means when I'm where uh, when I'm soldering those wires, that's fine. But when I'm soldering the coder, a hundred dollar decoder. Uh oh. Yeah. So I already pre-cut. Um, my uh, uh, shrink tubing here, okay. And now I'm going to turn uh, my um, special fan sucking fume out. And actually, you will see you don't, you don't need really comments. Okay, here we go. I make one already, so you can see with shrink tubing here. Okay, it's Sumitomo. Pre-cut it here, okay. So I'm taking my wire again. Wire strippers, strip probably like that, okay. Taking my good stuff. You'll hear again um, my uh, fan suck. Taking fume away, okay. Cut a little bit for the side to the size, okay. Looks good. I can, I will cut it later and just uh, solder right now. So then uh, I'll put shrink tubing over. Done. See. It's shiny, that means there is no cold, cold soldering, you know, it's like, um, it's all molecular of solder, uh, of solder uh, completely connected with uh, that copper wire, okay, and like that, I'm locking the shrink tubing tube, done. Okay, I think it will be enough for today. Thanks for watching and supporting business. We'll do more. Have a good one. Bye.